Hey guys, this is my content creation and documentation checklist. So this is something that I am working on optimizing. I haven't found the perfect formula for it, but content creation is one of the most important things in my business and, and probably most one of the most important things in your business as well. So I'm all about creating the right procedures and systems for optimizing like all of your different work tasks. So for content creation and slash documentation, and the reason that I have two different names like so content creation is like producing content and stories out of thin air let's say so creating like um creating like you know long form blog articles or courses or like lead magnets or you know you know how to videos instructional videos etc that's what i consider content creation stories um, that's content creation, even if it's like entertainment kind of stories. Because um, really, there's two types of content cre creation. You can do it as like, there's two, two types of value in content creation, like how to instructional, and then there's like just pure entertainment. And there, those are two kinds of ways of that we as audi as viewers can get value from a piece of content. But there's another part to it too. There's documentation. And um, this is something that I learned from Gary Vaynerchuk. And so one of his big philosophies is document, don't create. And what this means is you document what you're doing throughout the day. And this actually gives you a ton of content to work with so that you're not, you're not, you're, you're not stressed for content ideas, to content creation ideas. And you can just talk about what you're doing, the process of what you're doing. And that can allow you to get six or seven pieces of content a day just by talking about what you're working on and what you're doing. And people like to get insight into that. And it's, it makes for interesting content as well. And that's actually what I'm doing right now. Um, so, um, but for, in terms of like a formula that works that, that I want to work for me, um, I'm going for six documentary videos. So those are, those are really short, um, you know, two, three minute videos where I'm talking about whatever I'm doing that day. And then, um, six pieces of micro content from the documentary videos. So micro content includes like GIFs memes, graphic quotes, um, just like really, really short stuff that you can post on like, let's say Instagram or, you know, like, a, you know, on Facebook as a status, a status updates are also micro content as well. So these work on different social media channels and they, they're really short or they're, you know, they're just graphics or memes or quotes, etc. And so I'm creating those graphics, memes, quotes from the document, the documentary videos. So what that means is like, Whatever I, I talk about in the documentary videos, I talk about in the quotes that I make. And so that makes it so I don't have to think about quote ideas or, or meme ideas or GIF ideas. I just take it, I can literally just take a clip from the documentary video that I make, the three minute video, and then make that into a meme or a quote or a GIF. And then another part of it is that I want to have six audio conversions from my documentary videos. So this doesn't require any extra effort on my part. I just simply, except for like just finding a um, you know, YouTube to audio converter and putting my videos into that converter so I have audio content in addition to um, video content. And then, um, and, and remember like the only work that I've really done so far is just the documentary videos. Everything else is kind of just repurposed from that. Um, and then there's like a core content slash stories. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out the right name for this. Like something like core core content might work, some story might work. I'm not really sure. But this is stuff that's not document documentation. This is actually like pure creation. Like if I'm creating like a course or a how-to guide, you know, ultimate guide or some, some long-form article or a guest post that I'm doing somewhere um, that isn't about documenting what I'm doing um, and it's just kind of more about teaching or about like entertaining, then that's... I'm working on some core piece of content. So that's what, I don't have to produce a, a core piece of content every day. I just have to work on it a little bit. So that's one aspect of, of the of the checklist. And then finally, there's shares. i got to put a little check mark over here. Um, and by the way, I'm using Evernote. They have this little checkbox system. So if you want to have procedures and make like checklists for your own business, um, I recommend using Evernote. 10 shares. So I'm still thinking about where to put this. I might actually end up moving this to the distribution checklist that I'm gonna make, but um, you know, shares, because, and I have to specify where I'm sharing things as well, so that's, this is kind of incomplete, but I, um, but curation sharing, that's part of the content creation. Um, my content strategies that I wanna share, like interesting pieces of content too on social media channels, 
Um, so I'm, I'm not sure if 10 is the right number yet. Um, it's just something I, I kind of, that's just where I'm starting with it. I'm, I'm going to work on optimizing this checklist and this procedure. Um, yeah, so this is my content creation and documentation checklist, and I hope you found this interesting. Let me know what you think.